So that's going to be a few of the questions I'd like to ask you tonight. And I don't know where all of you live. Some of you may be clustered around, do you call it CR 112 and 114? We don't know how far this poem is or isn't. We will not have all the answers for you tonight. Neither will the state. We don't know if this has been going on 15 years, 20 years, 10 years. We don't know what ultimately some of the levels were or weren't. But there's things that you can pay attention to that tell a story. Are your trees dying? The color of your water? What's happening to your animals? What's happening to you? So I'm not sure where you all live, but I know you most of are all of you here on your own well water? Everybody. Okay. How many of you have swimming pools? Should that be hat swimming pools? About uh, a third, maybe. Can't really see. How many of you could report that your well water, whether it's be in your bathtub, in your swimming pool, in your toilet bowl, coming out of your well or your faucet, have you observed a yellow green water? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I saw yours today. It looked just like Gatorade. I was surprised. So a lot of you, hands back up that have seen your discolored water. There was a lot of you. Okay, how many of you have had children or yourself experience chronic nosebleeds? It's quite a few of you. How many of you have been experiencing sinus problems, chronic sinus problems? How many of you have been experiencing respiratory problems or unexplained skin rashes? Quite a few of you. How many of you know neighbors in your area that have cancer? Quite a few of you. So I want you to look around at each other. And you can help us. We're here to help you, but you've got the biggest thing of all. That's information. And if you can begin to work with us, and I only hope that your state will come out and pay attention to your health. They need to get you clean water, not today. They needed to get you clean water yesterday. That is your God-given right. They knew it. And in the process, if they're not handing out questionnaires, we are. Don't be afraid. Don't think that you're going to put something silly down and think that it's irrelevant, because it may not be. And as the investigation goes on, we have access to many experts that can begin to answer some of your questions, that will begin to be able to look at your questionnaires, so we can begin the process of moving forward and helping you, not only in protecting your health, but possibly preserving your property and your land and your water. And I know some of you don't want to give up your well water, but it is a serious problem. And there are some serious numbers. And try to understand and be cooperative. We're not going to have all the answers tonight. So my first mission was to come here tonight and introduce myself to the community and begin to learn a little bit about you. I know I'm not crazy. I know what I saw today. And I know none of you are crazy and what you see, and it's very, very relevant. So please, don't leave here in a total panic. Leave here glad that you now have some information that could begin to explain what some of your health problems may be caused by. Begin to pay attention to your wildlife, <coughs> to your trees, to your children, to your water. Be vigilant. We don't think that you should be drinking the water. I think that the state is going to have to explain to some residents why they live next door to somebody to the south and somebody to the east and somebody to the west that has high levels of hexavalent chromium, yet on that given day they were non detect why they don't have a filter. They probably should. And I'm hoping that the state will become very proactive with you and get out there very quickly and address this problem. So having said that, I mean, I could stand up here and talk with you all night. I would like to hear from you. 
I would like to answer some of your questions, and I don't know where Bob went. Oh, there you are. We do that every time. Bob, where's Bob? But he and I both want tonight's meeting to hear from you and your questions and your concerns. So I'm going to open up the floor to all of you, and we're here to answer any questions that you have. And I thank you for being honest with us. Sometimes it's, it's uncomfortable, but it's the only way to go. And we're going to give that honesty right back. Go ahead. I had my water tested for chromium. That's all it said from the Environmental Labs of Texas. It came out zero, non-detected. The thing is, is did I ask them for the right specific test? Because I've had my water tested every six months since we've lived in the place that we live. And nobody told me that there was any kind of anything in my water until somebody said, well, do a petroleum distillate, volatile organic. And I came up with one well that we do not use that's got off the map benzene, polyuline. But I've had my water tested for six years. Nobody ever said anything. Didn't tell me what specific tests I need. What specific test do we need? And did I ask for the right one? Well, we both can answer that. I mean, benzene is clearly a compound that you don't want in your water. Yeah. Uh, that would concern me. What we're dealing with, from my perspective, right here, right now, tonight in this community, is hexavalent chromium. Okay, well, you just said chromium. Well, there's a difference. That's okay, so. There's a difference, so I'd be asking for that. And, and Bob can answer your question about the well, but there is a difference between chromium. Chromium can be naturally occurring in some elements. Chromium isn't a dangerous compound like hexavalent chromium. Now, regarding hexavalent chromium, we've known for about 100 years that by inhalation, it can cause cancer. And during the time of my investigation and now being stoned, there was a big dispute about chromium-6 by ingestion. Big argument. Finally, two years ago, the National Institute of Health has concluded that chromium-6 by ingestion does appear to be a cancer-causing compound. So it becomes complicated for you because you rely on your water so much so there, there could be inhalation exposure. And that's one thing that I would like to ask that kind of got by me. How many of you have swamp coolers? Okay, quite a few, because that's something that's very important. If your well water is being contaminated and that system is feeding your swamp cooler, it creates an aerosol mist, which can be a definite exposure pathway. So inhalation, ingestion, and dermal exposure are all pathways that are dangerous regarding the chemical hexavalent chromium. So ask if that's a good test. And hexavalent chromium is a compound we're looking for. A couple of other things they'll tell you. Hexavalent chromium, as it enters the environment, will readily transform itself to a more stable form called trivalent chromium. There's a lot of factors going on here. Not everything is just going to be black and white. It will depend on the pH balance of your soil. Another thing that we learned in the case is that people out in Hinkley, they saw the green water in their pool. They didn't think of it. They didn't wake up and go, this is hexavalent chromium coming from PG and it poisoned me. <laughs> they thought it was algae. They thought it was minerals. They thought maybe their water was supposed to be that color. So guess what they did? They added more bleach, more chlorine to their pool. When hexavalent chromium is in a pool, it can lower itself to a trivalent state. But when you add chlorine and bleach, it converts it back to hexavalent chromium. So that's just some information for you. If you have a pool and it's green or yellow, don't swim in it. We know that they've drained pools here and they've brought in fresh water. Don't add chlorine. Did you want to answer something about it, Will? Well, uh, just on the general subject of, of water quality testing. Um, as I explained last time when I was here, um, a full water quality analysis can run over $4,000 and there are thousands of chemicals you can test for. So, um, and, and, it, and this is going to go into our discussion about why the filters are having difficulty and what the total water quality is. 